Hi everybody, so first thing I have to say, I have so much gratitude and thank you to my patrons. You guys are awesome. You are shopping my Amazon store and I can actually see the numbers going. Um, you're watching and subscribing and sending donations still. I just can't say enough how that helps me keep making these art videos just for you, especially during these times. So thank you so much and I have so much love for you guys. Um, so onto the pour. This is the color palette for today. It's the same color palette as I did with my collaboration and I just had these left over. Now watch how I'm layering this cup. It's important. Those are the yellows, greens, and whites. Now I'm starting with the brown. I'm putting white in between some of those as well. And then we have like uh, warm colors. We're doing warm colors. Bronze. And I'm asking you to look at this for a reason. Now we have the gold and now the red. So see the two reds? So see the green and the red, how far apart they are from each other in this cup? That is really important because I challenge myself to put red and green in the same pouring cup and see what effects I get. Usually red and green really are difficult to pour together. They make a disgusting color. <laughs> So, but you can see the way I layered my cup was really important by putting the green, um, the cool green colors uh, far away from the warm red colors. They have a less of a chance of mixing and I did that when I did my collaboration to the swipe. If you watch how I did that on my swipe, I did the same thing basically. So see, now you're still going to get some mixing, but it's almost like see the red coming out of that cup it has a protective layer around it you can see the layer around it is bronze and the browns see so it's not exactly mixing with the red it's like the red and the green they look like they're coming out together and they are but almost in um, two different streams it's hard to show, but the other thing is, if you don't want your uh, colors mixing like that, you would also want to make them a little thicker, which I have. You can see my paint is fairly thick. All my paint today is mixed with Floetrol and water, and I did also put just a little tiny bit of the Liquitex pouring medium, like a little squeeze um, when I refreshed my paints today. So, I just thought I'd give you this beautiful shot from my iPhone. Seriously, you guys, my iPhone takes amazing photos and video, almost better than my camera. It could just be that my camera is old, but I'm truly in love with my iPhone. <laughs> um, trying to get some of those little beautiful fingers that happen with the straight pour, and I'm getting the little branches, little fingers. Yeah, and there it is. And then, <clears throat> go, I'm going to put a gold ring around this, but honestly, I'm not doing this to create the gold pearl cells, as you've seen me before do. The reason is because if I want those pearl cells to occur, I really have to have the actual pour that, come out, that came out of the cup. It needs to be a little thinner than the gold and that's not the case today all of the paints that I made today are all the same viscosity so I don't expect and I'm not expecting to get those pearl cells at all but I thought a little gold in there would look pretty isn't that cranberry color pretty the um, alizarin Crimson, I think it's called, and then the nap, nap, naphthol red, or I don't just forgive me for my mispronunciation. I'm usually pretty good about that stuff, but um, 
I love how those two colors together make that cranberry color. It's just so pretty and bright. And see how the green is staying nice and vibrant. I love those little parts right there. It's one of my favorite details of this painting. And this too. They're really pretty. So I just made a second little cup because on this side, I'm short of paint. What I'm trying to do is, I don't want to have to tilt off or distort those beautiful patterns that I made over there that I love. So I'm just adding another cup and I'm going to see what I can do with that. So I start tilting and I realize it doesn't look like it on camera, but I had too much paint for that upper right corner. I mean, just a ton of paint. So I think, you know, I, I try to tilt some of it off, but I'm losing some of the paint that I didn't want to lose on the other side. Ah, the best laid plans. <laughs> you know how, you know how it goes, you guys. <laughs> so there ends up being too much paint and I really did have to tilt some of it off to risk um, cracking. I didn't want to risk cracking, so I really needed to tilt that off. And you know, you can't have too much paint left on your canvas or no matter how good the quality of the paints are, even if you use GAC, it will still crack. So I did tilt some of that off. And in tilting, I lost some of that beautiful cranberry color. I just, it just stretched. Um, stretch this out and and uh, I lost some of it so like I say guys you can always go back and add in some of the colors that you miss There's nothing wrong with that it kind of has a way of settling into the painting too so it will look natural at the end I promise Especially if you follow the natural lines of the painting. So try to do that. That's what I try to do. The painting tells you where, they, where it should go. And just follow that. You should be fine. So. I'm just deciding where I want some of that cranberry color. So you guys, what y'all you been doing? <laughs> I know some of you are working like crazy, especially if you're in the healthcare industry and the food service industry, um, in terms of like the grocery stores and stuff, and um, a lot of you still had to work, and some of you are working from home and taking care of your children at the same time, I can't imagine. Um, for me, I know I've been, uh, you know, mostly off work, but um, still trying to, you know, make art and, uh, you know, run my art business. And I've been cooking for, cooking, just cooking a lot. Cooking for uh, loved ones who are in my city, elderly who can't get out. I've been cooking and providing meals for them. Um, people in my neighborhood, just feeding pe people in my neighborhood. I think I, it's just born in grain in me. Like I can't not do it. It's something I was just born to do. I think it's in my DNA. My grandma was a ranch cook and um, I've just always been cooking. Even when I was young, my mom said I was like eight years old and cooking beef stroganoff. <laughs> so it's just something I've always done and it's just in me and I can't really stop it, so. I still do it in any capacity that I can. I'm thinking of going live on Facebook since we have more time. Uh, I'm just doing some little live cooking shows. You can follow me, Heather Mater Art, on Facebook. There's the final piece, you guys. I'm going to take you in for a close-up here. See how pretty that bright red turned out? The bronze and the gold add a little bit of sparkle here and there to everything. Red and green. 
but each one of those lines is kind of outlined with the brown and the bronze so yeah I think it's a pretty painting and it turned out pretty well I hope to see you guys soon I have more art videos coming for you more paintings and the next uh, little trick I have up my sleeve is a video entitled balloon roll secrets and I know that's something that you're all gonna want to see so until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you uh, very soon. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.